Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be organizing Canvas, designed by Jeff Chin, Andrew Nerger, and published by Road to Infamy Games. These are fully sleeved, deluxe edition copies of the games that also include the Kickstarter mini expansions. For links to anything we use to organize these games, please look in the description of the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure that you do. It is the best way to help us grow. Let's get started organizing Canvas. Before we get into these two boxes, I do want to mention that they're extremely tiny. They have a very interesting slipcase design that they're used so that they can hang up on the wall here, but that means that it's going to be hard in order to combine both of them into a single box and keep them actually organized. So we are going to be using both of these boxes here. If you store them on the shelf, you can simply stack them on top of each other, or you can use that interesting hook on the back here and hang them as art in your gaming area. It's up to you how you want to store these, but we do employ these two different boxes for the organization method. That being said, let's start with what's inside the core game box. We'll slide the top off here and you'll see that we have three distinct groupings of items. We've got a silica gel packet in here for freshness and then the game board from the base game. Because the expansion comes with a board to replace this, you are not actually going to be using this, but if you ever want to revert back to that base game experience, it's going to be here just in case. In the bottom left corner here, we have all of our scoring cards. You'll need to shuffle them up and then put four of them randomly onto the table, or you can use one of the pre-constructed setups. And underneath that, we have all of our signature style variant cards. These give you secret endgame scoring. Since this is a card crafting game, the game comes with enough sleeves to sleeve everything, so you won't need to worry about picking up any. In the bottom right, we have all of our remaining art cards. There's actually going to be two large stacks of these art cards because they're not all going to fit into the deck box that comes with the game. So you'll shuffle them up at the end of each game and then store the deck box full of art cards. So you're only going to need this at the end when you shuffle all of the used cards together and then replenish that deck box. There is a film on all of these cards that you can remove in order to make sure that the cards are a little bit more clear. It's just there in order to protect for manufacturing purposes. Underneath those three items, we have our large game board, and you're simply going to open this up and place it onto the center of the table. Now, this game board features two rows of cards, and that way you have a bit more options when you're taking things, and you can see what's coming out. In addition, they have spots on the top here that are used specifically to store the specific color of ribbons, so it's nice to have organizers that we'll see soon that fit into these lily pads specifically. Oh, that's the reflections board. And underneath those game boards, we have our two rule books for the game, for Canvas and Reflections. And that's everything in the base game box. Let's go ahead and pack it up. First off, we start off with the rule book and then the large game board. We'll then put our signature style cards and scoring cards in that bottom left section and our remaining art cards in this right section. We'll put our main game game board, a silica gel packet for freshness. And that's everything for the core box of canvas. We'll slide that cover on back like so. Now we move on to the reflection box, which is going to contain the majority of our resources and things that we're actually going to place onto that main game board. In this bottom section, we have a small Stonemeyer Games container here. It's going to contain all of our inspiration tokens. Make sure with the new expansion that you give six of these to each player instead of four. And we have our deck box full of art cards. Make sure that they're facing out like this, so that when you play them, they're all going to drift out directly onto the board. So make sure that the symbols are on the bottom here. At the end of each game, you'll shuffle up all of the cards in here, the cards that were played, and the extra cards, and that way you're set up to go for the next game you decide to play. Underneath that, we have our advanced card variants, as well as some extra sleeves for the game. These are all from the Kickstarter edition. If you decide to use these, pop them open and set them up. They all fit in here nicely sleeved. Get a silica gel packet in this box. And our two ribbons for Best in Show and Masterpiece. This way you have two different winners. Best in Show means that you're going to actually win for having the most victory points, and Masterpiece means that, hey, you have the best looking picture, so you win too. Up next, we have our containers for the ribbons. I really like these circular trays because they fit nicely onto the appropriate spots, those lily pads on the new game board. So you simply pop that lid off and boom, they're ready to go. You'll have one of these ribbon trays for each color and we'll simply place them onto the table where they belong. And the last thing you'll see in this box are the sleeved background cards. Now these are all pretty much identical. If you really care, you can sift through them and pick the color that you want specifically, but you're just gonna give three of these to each player. You're gonna leave any of the unused cards inside of the box here because you're only going to be using three per player each game. And that's everything in the reflection box. Let's go ahead and pack it up. First off, we put those advanced card variants in the bottom right, followed by the art cards. Make sure that the art cards are facing this wall here so that they don't slide out. That way they're nice and pressed up against this side. 
We'll put all of our background cards in this upper section, and then our Stonemeyer container with all of our inspiration tokens in the bottom left. We'll put our silica gel packet, our best in show and masterpiece ribbons here, and then all of our round containers with our different colored ribbons on top of those. And that's everything inside of our reflections box. Let's go ahead and slide that box lid right back on. And that is organizing canvas with canvas reflections. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. How do you organize your copy of Canvas? Do you enjoy playing with the new expansion or without? Is this your favorite card crafting game? What's the most interesting painting that you've created in the game? We'd love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong.